Hi everybody, it's Maya Zahira with Psychic Protection Sanctuary and this is day seven of our 10-day spiritual empowerment activation. Welcome back and uh, brownie points to all of you who have made it this far. You've stayed focused and committed and uh, we have just a few more days to go. So it's a beautiful day here in Arizona. It's actually overcast. Um, I moved here for the sun, but every once in a while we have cloudy days. Something is wrong with my cat. <laughs> I might have to step away for a second. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it always happens when I go live. Keeping it real. Yeah. Okay, so hi everybody, welcome back. We have a really, really uh, juicy topic that we're covering today. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so as usual, go ahead and let us know where you're joining from. And let's jump right in with um, our question right away. What are you ready to release right now. So tell us where you're joining from and what are you ready to release? Okay. So it could be false limiting beliefs, certain beliefs that you have, certain habits, maybe unresolved traumas, um, situations, people, uh, things, Maybe you've got some clutter you need to get rid of, um, like anything, um, energies, entities. I mean, like you name it. Now is the time to declare within the power of this group energy what you are ready to release. So tell us where you're joining from and what you are ready to release. And literally by sharing it with the group, that helps to give it more power. There is something so incredibly powerful about being a part of a group energy. It always amazes me and it makes me really excited uh, how magical and transformational group energy is. It's like literally you could be doing the same thing in your bedroom or your living room by yourself, but when you are in a group energy, it like multiplies the power times 10. And it's, I just love it. I get so excited about that. So go ahead and um, do start sharing. And uh, let's also give everybody some hearts today. So if you see the little um, hearts and smiley faces, let's um, Let's get some some love energy flowing, okay? So let me look at my notes here. I want to congratulate everybody who um, has won the free gifts so far. Today, we're doing one free gift that is for the whole community, for everybody. Um, so no individual drawings today, but you receive the gift of being a part of the energy, right? But the, um, the free gift that's for everybody is so powerful. And if you haven't had a chance to explore any of the other free gifts, well, I hope that you do. I hope you go back. But today's free gift is so, I know I've been using the word powerful a lot, but it is really powerful. It's really powerful. It's really transformative. Um, juicy. I know I've been using that word a lot today too. Uh, it is a soul retrieval guided meditation. And a soul retrieval is just a fancy terminology to describe calling your power back. And it is a 50 minute guided journey. Um, it's a guided energy work. That's what it is. It's not just a meditation. It's guided energy work where you are releasing what no longer serves you and calling your power back. And I, I feel like you'll get even more from this if you listen to that. So listen to it at night when you're getting ready to go to sleep or set aside some dedicated time, set aside an hour 
to listen uh, for f- the 50 minute meditation and then 10 more minutes for maybe reflection or journaling. So, okay, let's do shout outs and then uh, we have some really cool stuff to cover today. Um, let's see here. We've got a lot of people here live. Hello, everybody. Melissa, hi from Lawrence, Kansas. Um, Constance says, I always want to release limiting beliefs. I would like to release a sense of immobility, not physically, but emotionally and energetically. I did vote in the Missouri primary today, so that's something. Yay, good. Smiley face. (laughs) Jessica says, hi from Cleveland. Jeannie says, hello from Piper, Kansas. So we're we're doing some sharing right off the top right now. So those of you who've just joined, tell us where you're joining from if you haven't already. And what are you ready to release? Proclaim it, declare it, type it, share it with the group, okay? That's also part of our homework thread as well. So you're going to be sharing it in two different places, which is going to give it even more power. Okay. So let me look at my notes so I don't forget anything. All right. So before we get into today's topic, which is all about releasing what doesn't serve you and calling your power back, I want to just make sure I touch base on an important thing. And uh, when I was getting ready to go live, I was just kind of tuning into inner guidance and asking, is there anything else we need to make sure that we cover? And um, I know I've talked about this before, but I'm going to share it in a little different way today. I want to make sure that you know how to get more when we're done with this 10 day journey or even before then, if you want more. So I'm going to start off by telling you about all the free stuff because I have all this cool stuff out there and not everybody knows about it. So grab your pen and paper if you want to make notes. These are ways that you can go deeper or go broader and uh, get more, just get some more, (laughs) Uh, more than what we're doing in this journey. So the let's start with the free stuff. So I've got a YouTube channel, Psychic Protection Sanctuary. So you just go to youtube.com, type in the search bar, Psychic Protection Sanctuary. And I have like over 50 hours of free content on there. And I love hearing when people tell me that they discovered the channel and that they've been binge watched like or binge listened because it's just my talking head. (laughs) So you can just listen. Um, But I love hearing how people have binge watched a whole bunch of videos on there and that they've gotten a lot out of it. Now, there's two different playlists. There's one that's all about psychic protection and the more intense kinds of, uh, you know, spiritual warfare and that kind of stuff. You might need that. You might not be interested in that. And that is okay. There's another playlist that is all about spiritual empowerment and developing your spiritual gifts. And you might enjoy that. And there's also a special playlist that's the seven day psychic skills challenge. And you can actually go through, there's like a 10 minute, there's seven, 10 minute, 10 or 15 minute videos all about developing your, your intuitive skills. Um, And the reason why that's important, developing your intuitive skills is so that you can have discernment about what's going on in your energy field. Like this whole 10 day spiritual empowerment activation is all about learning how to manage your energy. So if you're not able to tune in and discern what's going on in your energy, you're missing a really big piece. So there's a huge freebie there. There's a whole playlist that's the seven day um, psychic skills challenge. And the videos are shorter than they are in this challenge. I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes each. So enjoy that. That's a whole bunch of free stuff where you can go deeper with me and broader. And then I have two Facebook groups. This one that we are live in right now is Spiritual Empowerment Community. And uh, then I have another one that's for the more intense spiritual psychic protection kind of stuff. And that one is called Psychic Protection Sanctuary. And it's intended as a, as a support group and an informational group for those who need it. 
Um, low cost, but not free. Darkness disguised as light. This is all about psychic protection. So if you're wanting more on that, um, and it's all about, it's also about developing your spiritual gifts. You can get it on Amazon, amazon.com. Just type in my name, M-A-Y-A-Z-A-H-I-R-A, and you'll find it on there. Um, so the, there's a whole bunch of free and low cost stuff. And then if you want to really, really, really go deep, that would be the 12 month spiritual empowerment Academy. And I'm not going to go all into that because we've been talking about the other stuff for a while. I'll just direct you to my website, psychic protection sanctuary.com. And under the events tab, you can click on the spiritual empowerment Academy and, um, what I always tell people is tune into your inner guidance and follow what that says. As far as um, when you're discerning uh, whether you're going to take a program or work with a particular teacher, uh, my hope is always that you will find an empowered yes or an empowered no, either way, instead of kind of being on the fence, right? So, Follow your inner guidance and take a look at that if you feel guided to. Let's go ahead and do shout outs and read everybody's um, comments. And then we're going to get into today's topic. And I don't know if you can tell my energy today. I'm like, yes, because at this point, we've gone through a whole bunch of foundational stuff. Um, we're on day seven now. And uh, today is... Like, we're just getting into the really powerful stuff, and it makes me really excited. <laughs> so, um, let's go back and read some comments. I hope I don't tip over my stand. So, remember, as you're joining, what is something or some things that you are ready to release now? Declare it. Share it with us. Melissa says, decluttering my house currently. I am also releasing limiting beliefs. Okay, so you can share this with us or not, Melissa, which exact limiting beliefs are you releasing? That's important. So I'm a big proponent of being as specific as you can, because um, if you're, I'm just speaking generally to everybody, if you are general about your declaration, then it does, it doesn't really take hold. So everybody be really specific about what you're releasing. I'm actually getting really hot because I'm already moving a lot of energy. <laughs> Hi, Yvette. Jessica says, just bought your book today. I can't wait to read it. Yeah. So what I've noticed is that um, the book isn't for everybody. Well, it is for everybody, but it's like not everybody's ready for it. And I'm totally into encouraging people to honor that. Um, so some people are like so ready to read it. There's a lot of tr truths in it. I was working with a client just an hour ago and I told her, um, you know, once you know these truths, it's like once you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> it's kind of like ignorance is bliss. Like you kind of wish you didn't know all this stuff. But now that you do know, you don't want to be, it's like you want to know the truth, but it's kind of this catch 22. So if you're really ready to know the truth about a lot of things going on spiritually, then then read it. If not, there's never any pressure from me. Um, and I'm just here to support you and help you develop your spiritual gifts here in this group. Um, Amira says, I'm from Northwestern Michigan, and I'm ready to release negative programming from myself and others, as well as outdated methods, habits that no longer serve me. So in your own notebook, in your own journal, or and or share with us exactly what is the negative programming? What's it about? And so you might journal about it, or you might share it with us. And also these outdated methods, habits, what exactly are they? What are they? Okay, get super clear about it. Sahela says, hi, Maya from Renton, Washington. Hello, soul sister. Um, Jeannie says, anger at my mother for dying and leaving me with a mess and having to spend money to fix everything. 
Well, and Jeannie, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, this happened very recently. And what I want to um, suggest is that sometimes we need to release something, but sometimes we it's not time to release it. It's time to feel it, process it. So that that's what I'm feeling from your comment and your situation is that um, the anger is legitimate and it is okay to be with it for a while. I mean, don't, don't unpack and stay there for 10 years, right? You don't want to stay there forever, but it's important to feel it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm here for you whenever you need it. Melissa says, I'm working on writing the vision of my dreams and I'm not confining myself to what I think may be possible based on where I am. The sky is the limit. So I'm looking at impossible, like, let's see. Oh, I got to read the rest. Impossible, like I'm possible. Oh, I'm looking at the word impossible, like I'm possible. So it's the same spelling, but you change, put an apostrophe in there and it becomes I'm possible. I love that. Jeannie says, I was thinking that too, Maya. Years of caretaking of her. Oh, yeah. I feel that. I can feel that. Okay. So, yeah. So it might be a matter for you rather than like really getting rid of it or releasing it. Um, like thinking of it where it's releasing, but more as it's flowing through you. So allowing it to flow up and out, out the crown of your head, just flowing up and out, like feeling it, allowing it to move through you um, because it needs, it needs to be felt. Yep. Okay. So today's topic is all about releasing what no longer serves you and calling your power back to you. And like I said, I'm getting so hot, just move channeling energy for this class. Okay. So when I say releasing what no longer serves you, I'm not talking about like some fluffy spiritual phrase. I release what no longer serves me. I'm talking about really recognizing, like take, taking authority. You are in charge of your own energy. You are taking authority and you're saying this, this, and this, I no longer choose. I no, no longer choose to have those in my life, in my energy field, in my mind, in my body, etc. Wherever it is that you're holding it. Okay, so this is all about you claiming authority. And a lot of times we forget this. We, I think, as even as young children, we are programmed to believe by our caretakers, our parents, our teachers, the authorities in our lives. We are programmed to believe that other people and other, other things are more powerful than we are. Even other spiritual beings. I mean, we're, we're told to be a fearful of God, right? And so maybe that idea even instills the, the belief that spiritual beings are more powerful than us. Like some ghost is more powerful than you if you're living in a house that has activity, um, you know, but it's not true. You actually are powerful and you have authority over your energy. And so whatever you're going to release, whether it's a, um, an energy, um, a job, a relationship, a, a relationship that's not working, um, or aspects of the relationship that aren't working, or false limiting beliefs, particular beliefs, habits, um, gosh, aspects of your phys physical body, maybe, that need to be released or transmuted, transformed. 
um, certain experiences. Like maybe you are ready to release the energy of poverty. Or maybe you are ready to release the energy of struggle or suffering or pain or loneliness or fill in the blank, right? So it's not just um, physical objects that we could be releasing here, but lifelong um, experiences, patterns. What are you ready to release? Yep. Yep. And I think I'm going to go ahead and declare something myself because I feel it coming up. So right now, I declare to all of us present in this group energy that I personally, Maya Zahira, release the energies and experiences of suffering and Things being hard. Those two things. I release suffering and things being hard. And instead, I call in ease and flow. Things flow easily and gracefully. Things are so easy. I call that in now. Aho. And so it is. See? You declare it. Whatever it is for you. So let's share. Ah, we got a lot of comments. Oh, gosh, we had a lot come through while I was talking. I think. OK, here we go. Um, Jeannie says, I'm going through. I'm experiencing it. Yes. And Jeannie says, thank you. And Melissa says, I'm sorry to hear of your loss, Jeannie. Jeannie says, yes, no fluff. That's what we're talking about. Jessica says, getting rid of this negative entity in my life. Yeah, Jessica's dealing with a really intense situation. Releasing the idea of not being enough, good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, etc. Yep, that's powerful. We support you in that. Jeannie said, says, I needed this today. Very helpful. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you decided to show up with everything you have going on. Sahela says, old habits or mindsets holding me back and letting go of physical objects that I'm emotionally attached to that want to, that I want to let go of, as well as some people, let go of grief for the loss of a dear friend and letting go of fear. Oh, yeah. That's a good one to let go of. Sahela says, yes, I do want to release mindset of poverty and struggling. Yeah, struggle, struggle. Replace that with ease and grace. Audrey says, why is there loud music playing along? If I go away from this, the music stops. Um, I don't have any music playing. I do not know. I hope there's not music playing for anyone else. I don't think there is. Uh, Jessica says, do you have music open on your phone? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe if you watch the replay, it'll be better. <laughs> I don't know. There might be a little bit of interference happening for you. It could be. It could be. Okay, so there's a technique that I teach my students, and it's very simple. And it's all about releasing what doesn't serve you and calling your power back and doing it on a daily basis or as often as needed. And a lot of times people who take my program, Spiritual Empowerment Academy, will um, end up practicing a whole daily protocol where they will do the triple grid of protection, which is what I taught in yesterday's uh, Facebook Live. They'll, they'll do the grid of protection. They'll do grounding, connecting with your spirit, connecting with divine source. And then they'll also do this step with it. But today we're going to do it just by itself. And it's about releasing and then calling back your power. So before we do the technique, let's talk a little bit more about calling back your power. There are a lot of ways where you might lose energy. So I'm talking about your life force essence 
And even sometimes pieces of your soul essence can be lost through experiencing traumas, great and small, through various different life experiences. So you might be leaking or losing energy just in daily experiences, stressful circumstances, um, certain relationship dynamics where per, I used the, the term um, energy vampire yesterday. That's a person who tends to suck your energy dry. You might have dynamics with somebody who tends to be an energy vampire. Um, so in that sense, you're leaking or losing energy. You might lose energy by worrying about things or by fretting about things or by having obsessive thinking about things. And meanwhile, your energy is just leaking away. Your vitality, your life force energy, your auric field, okay? Now, as far as losing pieces of your soul, though those um, that... I think sometimes that sounds scary to people, but it's actually very common and it can happen when you've experienced um, a very jarring trauma, okay? Whether you remember the trauma or not, sometimes there's a bit of what's called soul loss in shamanic teachings. So um, whether you're leaking energy just on a daily basis or you've had a more profound, deeper experience of losing energy, Either way, and I think if you're living on the planet, you've probably experienced some of all of the above, by the way. But either way, it's important to call your power back, not just once, but on a daily basis. Because living in this soup called Earth, all this energy going on, all the people, I mean, the truth is that a lot of people walking around are really unconscious. I'm just saying that as a truth. It's not a judgment. A lot of people are acting out their unresolved traumas and pains. And so they're spewing things onto other people uh, just simply because they're they're unhealed and um, doesn't make them a bad person, but it's just something that happens. So when you go out into the world, then you know, you're getting a bunch of stuff glommed onto you. Uh, and that's just a fact living on the planet. There's a lot of beautiful things on the planet too, but um, there's a lot of ways where we take on other people's stuff and where we leak or lose energy. So it's important on a daily basis that you do this. Think of it as like a tune-up or brushing your teeth every day. You've got to clean your teeth, brush your hair, wash your face, all of that. It's just daily maintenance, okay? And you'll also notice a cumulative effect that if you have some of those deeper um, energy losses, that as you do these things that I'm teaching you in this 10-day journey, you'll find that over time, more and more of your power is coming back to you. And... Uh, Jeannie says, I declare ease, grace, abundance, and flow in my mind and in my life. And so it is. Aho. Uh yes. Okay. So this is a two-step process. And uh, since I have the camera set up to face my head and not see my whole body, you're just going to have to imagine what I'm doing with my arms and I'll describe it. So with your arms, you're going to take your hands, you're going to reach them out to your sides. So my palms are up. And so I've got my arms out stretched like I'm doing a calisthenics or something. And then I'm going to bring my arms all the way up so they're like above my head. So fingertips are pointed up. And then I'm going to bring my palms down. And I'm going to push down my midline like this. I'm going to push all the way down to below the root chakra. So I'm doing this. But as I do it, I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to make a very powerful, a very emotionally powerful declaration. And the declaration is, I release what doesn't serve me or I release what no longer serves me. So I want you to do this with me. Raise your arms above your head. And remember, you're going to be pushing down. Arms above the head. Inhale. And exhale. 
And then say, I release what no longer serves me now. Okay. Just for learning purposes, let's do it again. You're going to bring your arms up. And on the exhale, you're releasing energy. And then you make your declaration. So inhale. So I just pushed down my midline, down to the ground. I release what no longer serves me now. Okay. And then part two is I call my energy back to me now. I call my energy back to me now. So you're going to bring your arms out again to, to, to your side. And then you're going to just like you're hugging the air, like you're going to hug a tree in front of you. And you bring it in, you bring your palms in. So you gather that energy. I call my power back to me now. And you place your palms onto your heart. So the declaration is, I call my power back to me now. And you really emphasize the now. I call my power back to me now. And then you can sit with that for a moment and visualize, imagine, feel, and intend streams of light of your energy flowing back into your energy field into your body, into your aura, into your chakras, anywhere that you may have lost energy. And that's it. It's I release what no longer serves me and I call my energy back to me now. And so it is. Now, just a reminder of the free gift. There's a guided meditation that that is called a, uh, it's a soul retrieval guided meditation and it's about 50 minutes long and uh, if you feel called to I encourage you to go ahead and listen to it um, don't listen to it while you're driving because it's really powerful um, don't listen to any of the guided meditations when you're driving um, set aside some quiet time maybe before you go to sleep but just know that my students in the spiritual empowerment academy who've who did this um, guided energy healing session with me, uh, they reported that it was really, really powerful. So just know it's a very powerful session. So um, with it being so powerful, you might feel a lot of shifts from doing it. And so <clears throat> with shifts can come a little bit of discomfort. So there's a couple of tips that I have for managing that and helping the energy shift in the most easeful, graceful way. The number one tip is so easy and it is to drink a glass of water after you do the meditation uh, or before and after, whatever you feel guided to. But after you're done, uh, then drink a glass of water uh, as well as during if you need to sip some water. Um, because what happens when you do so much releasing and calling energy back uh, it can create a little bit of energy detox as things are releasing from your system. So just like if you do a like a dietary detox or an herbal detox for three days or five days or whatever, uh, you notice you might get like a headache or something like that. And uh, so you need to drink more fluids, right? Same thing. This is energetic, though. So you might notice some emotions or some thoughts that come up. Um and that's normal. It's because the meditation is so powerful. So drinking a glass of water literally helps move the energy out and flow that energy so that you can feel comfortable. And then also tip number two is literally just get some rest. Go, go to bed early or sleep in or take a nap. And that will allow your system to basically reset. It's kind of like um, on your computer, when you like upgrade a, when you like update a program, you have to restart your computer. You have to reboot your computer. Same thing. Like this meditation is so powerful. Um, the, uh, the, the free gift, uh, that it's like, you're going to have to reboot <laughs> afterwards. So take some time to go to sleep, even if it's a 30 minute nap. 
and you'll feel a whole lot better. So I can't wait to hear um, for those of you who do take part in the free gift. I can't wait to hear how you enjoy it and how it how it goes for you. So tomorrow, ooh, ooh, I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow we are getting into using your intuitive, your natural intuitive gifts what those are, and how to use those as a way of empowering your energy. So that's going to be super fun. Yay. Okay, everybody, we are all done for today. We've gone about 35 minutes, I think. Um, so this was wonderful. Remember to post in the homework thread. And whether you're watching the replay or joining live, go ahead and post what is it that you declare that you are releasing at this time. Sharing in the comments thread helps to empower it even more. Also, a little final reminder, if you want to work with me more deeply, you can go to my website, psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. And under the events tab, there's the Spiritual Empowerment Academy. And also, there's a bunch of free stuff on my website, too, because, you know, I like to do free stuff. Uh, and so just go hop on over there and just plunk around and enjoy watching. There's free videos on there. All right. Uh, Sahela says, love your braids and purple. Yeah, I was in the purple mood today. <laughs> Jeannie says, thank you. You are welcome. As always, I'm sending you all my love. Uh, you're welcome, Sahela. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye.